All right, guys. So my ESC went up in smoke a couple weeks ago. So I ordered a new one, identical, 6S, 150, Firma, smart ESC from Spectrum. Got it in the mail and I went to install it. And for whatever reason, this is all I could get. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the transmitter on. And I'm gonna turn the power button on. And I don't know if you saw it or not, but it didn't even let it finish the setup tones or count the cells of the battery. I've tried everything, switched batteries, switched motors, unconnected the motor, uh, switched receivers, switched transmitters, tried different ESCs, nothing would work. Now if I turn it off and I turn the transmitter off and if I turn it on without the transmitter, you'll see. Works, but the red light clicks. Even if I turn the transmitter on, it's connected now, but no functions, no throttle, no steering, no nothing. So let's turn it all back off. So I thought there was something wrong with the ESC. I contacted Jenny's RCs, which I got it from. They sent me out a new one, uh, installed the new one, which is the one I'm showing you right now. Exact same thing happened. At that point, I knew I must have been doing something wrong or there was something else going on. There's no way it can be three ESCs all doing the same thing. Doesn't happen. So I just got on YouTube for the hundredth time and the internet trying to figure this all out, changing the settings in the ESC, whatever. None of that helped. I just watched a video on a 6S Spectrum Firma Smart ESC where the guy had the same issue. And in the comments, somebody said, try the servo. Well, before installing this new ESC, I had a whole different set of electronics on the floor without putting them in the car. Um, tried it out as soon as I got it and it worked. Everything worked fine. Transmitter worked, motor worked, steering worked, but I was using a different servo, a brand new servo that I'd never installed in anything before, just something I had laying around. Um, and it worked fine. So I go and put everything in this car. Well, I didn't change the servo out because the servo is still fine. Um, and that's when I had the issue. I couldn't get it to work. I've probably spent six hours trying to figure this issue out by researching and trying different things. I finally just plugged in the new servo I got and voila, it works. Transmitter's connected, everything works. I'm gonna pause the video real quick, connect it and show you that it works or I'll do it with you on. Let's disconnect the old one. Get this new one in here. One hander jammer. There we go. Let's set that there for now. I'm gonna turn my transmitter on. I'm gonna go ahead and turn the car on. I thought it was my 6S battery, so I tried just using the 3S. It's not the batteries. Charged them, discharged them, they're all fine. And here we go. Motor's connected, so one second here. That's it. I searched and searched YouTube and the internet and I could not find a video or anybody explaining how to fix this. Um, 
So good luck. Hopefully, if you have this issue, you can find this video. I'm going to try and post it on YouTube. Uh, and hopefully that solves everybody's questions. Thank you very much.